gonna drop this trailer and we gotta go right to the office. We at uh we at a Walmart. Uh we're at Colton, California. Colton, California, the Walmart. Check in, we'll see y'all in a minute. Alright, we got the trailer. Alright, well the paperwork for the trailer. If y'all come pick up here at this Walmart. Come back here to the back. A little bit of handling business. Ugh. I'll go right there to line H. Find the trailer. One nine zero six four zero. Going to Robert, Louisiana. Yeah. All right. We'll see y'all in a minute. All right, well, they told us our trailer was going to be in uh, lot H, but it is still sitting in the door. <laughs> so we done rode around this whole damn place looking for it. Got a quarter tank of fuel. We gotta pull it forward before our load locks in. And then they gonna, uh, they gonna seal it up whenever we get uh, to the guard shack. Feel good. Locked on there. We getting out of here.
pressures. Look, saying the air pressures is uh. We're getting tired wondering for the damn air pressure. What I'm trying to say, but. Oh, good. I missed his uh, crying back and let him know that everything's checked and everything's good. And hope I don't keep getting them damn messages.
Oh, it's a 208. We're right about a flying G. Oh, pretty long line, but that's all right. We got a little time, and we ain't and hadn't got the truck washed in a little bit. <laughs> she taking care of business. So what? Okay. All right. Yeah, they do hand drying here. They're gonna do uh, the tire shine or tire dressing just on the truck. That's sharp over there. I remember when I used to bring Dixie's truck over here, boy. That damn maroon one. That's something going with shine, boy. Uh, I ain't got I ain't got that long nose Pete no more, but I take care of everything I drive, so. Finishing it up now. That truck don't look all that bad though. I mean it's it's a freight liner, but it don't it don't look that bad. It's pretty pretty sharp.
Here's the 90. Uh, in Robert, Louisiana. Our appointment ain't till midnight, but we'll come on down here. About it's about eleven, about eleven thirty now. You can show up to a Walmart an hour before your appointment time. But if you get here prior to that hour before your appointment time. It's a service failure. You come in from that way. Damn dude gonna run over me again. Ugh. I come in the door 512 to check in. All right, I'll see y'all in a minute. All right, got checked in. Take your paperwork in there. They give you a thing to sign and fill out. That you're backed into a door. You're dollied down. You're, you dropped your trailer and pulled out from under it. Wheels chalk. Oh, that's Walmart shit. Um, and then they give you a call when the door, uh, when your paperwork's ready. Man, you gotta watch these fucking yard dogs around Walmart. And some bitches will run over you. I'm gonna sit and wait on his ass. They want us to do 10 miles an hour through the parking lot, but that motherfucker right there run wide open. We was actually supposed to have been here uh, yesterday morning, Sunday morning, and we got here Sunday morning, but the line was so damn long to get out there, it was after 2 o'clock before we finally got to the damn check-in of the guard shack, and because of that, that made us late on checking in, so... Walmart won't take you if you're too late, even if it's their damn fault. Um, they won't take you if you're too late getting to the guard shack, no matter how long the line is. So, that caused us to have to go back to the truck stop. Sales had to get another appointment time. And, which was... Our pull time this morning, uh, yesterday morning, was uh, 1.30 a.m. So this one here, which is Monday morning, today's Monday, our appointment was at midnight. So that cost us a damn day. You know, we could have uh, got unloaded last night or yesterday morning. Sunday morning and had a load hidden somewhere else, you know, already. Instead of having to wait a whole nother fucking 24 hours to get a damn appointment time, but, uh, you know, it is what it is. We'll grab us a load, we'll get, we'll get unloaded here and see what they got for us. 
Ah. That's just one of the things that Walmart does, you know. Walmart don't. Uh, they don't play around when it comes to shit like that. So even though it was their fault, we were so late getting to the guard shack. You know, you still got to you still got to wait and get another appointment time if you're if you're too late. Because when we first got here. There was uh, 17 or 18 trucks in front of us. And one guard checking in everybody. We wasn't the only ones that got turned around. They was uh, they was two trucks behind us. Uh, they wasn't, I don't think they were, they wasn't prime trucks, but they was two trucks behind us that got turned around because we was too late for our appointment times. Because we was uh, in the back of the line I mean, I really, I really think they ought to. I really think they ought to do something about that. Change those rules because, uh, you know, that that fucks us up when we got to damn get another appointment time and all that shit. But what are you gonna do about it? All right, let's see y'all when we get out of here. All right, and we got the paperwork. Uh. About three o'clock. About three o'clock in the morning now, so. We're gonna get out of here. Probably, I guess, come back up here to the truck stop. Uh, See where we're going to next. Hey, yo. Well, I'll let you on the next.